Seitan, or wheat meat, is a wonderful and delicious vegetarian grill option. To begin with, I have about one pound of the seitan, and I'm going to break that down into pieces that will comfortably skewer onto my wooden bamboo skewers. What I also have is some tempeh. If you're gluten-free, gluten intolerant, or you have someone in your family that is, this is what you would use, but you're gonna use all the same basting techniques. So I'm going to cut my tempeh into pieces to fit comfortably onto the skewer. I've got my grill heating. I want my grill to get up to about 450 degrees before I lay these on. We wanna get those nice grill marks. Seitan and tempeh are not like meat, so we really don't need to cook them all the way through. They're going to cook relatively quickly, which is what makes them a wonderful and fast grilling option. Now I'm going to brush the seitan and tempeh with a little bit of either vegetable oil or olive oil. And then I'll put those on the grill so that they can begin cooking. The warmer the tempeh is and the seitan, the better it absorbs and accepts the baste or the marinade. While those are cooking, I'm going to put together my dry rub. I'm going to take a teaspoon of commercial dry rub and mix it with a little bit of oil. Because the seitan has little to no fat, there's nothing for the dry rub to stick to. So by mixing it with just a little bit of oil and then brushing it on the seitan, you get the same effect as if you're basting chicken or beef or any other high fat foods. I've got my dry rub mixed up, I've got my commercial barbecue sauce, and I've got some Jamaican jerk marinade, which I picked up recently on the Cayman Islands. Very spicy, but very good with seitan. So we'll start with some of the dry rub. <laughs> it's easier with your fingers. It is a rub after all. Okay, so that one's on. Now the barbecue sauce. There's a lot of really good already made barbecue sauces out there. Some of them are made without sugar now. They're made with agave syrup instead, which I really love. And we'll probably be putting a little more on while it's grilling anyway. So my dry rub, my barbecue, now my Jamaican jerk. This one I apply like a dry rub, so I'm going to spoon it on, spread it around. And it's really, it's made with scotch bonnet, so it can be pretty spicy, but I like it. Okay, so now for the tempeh, we'll do the rub. If it feels too dry, feel free to add a little more oil. Just remember, this is basically fat-free, these foods. I got a little bit of leftover rub here that I can borrow for the tempeh. There we go. Okay, and then barbecue sauce. All right, these are all ready to go back on. And I can't wait. It's going to cook pretty fast. What we don't want to do is have it get dried out. The vegetarian grill can be really easy and remember, really healthy. We don't have any cholesterol and they are just full of flavor. So we want it crisp on the outside and moist on the inside. So try these recipes, make them for your friends. You're absolutely gonna love them. See you next time. Happy grilling.